you're supposed to be dressed. I know I'm supposed to be dressed. Let me get up. You get up here. You come up. I'm not supposed to come up there. I'm supposed to be up here red. I've said it over and over. I'm sick and tired of everything that's going on around me. I've been wrestling for a mighty long time. I come in here, I wanted to watch Wahoo McDaniel because we've had a problem one time or another before. Wahoo McDaniel I, got into this battle royal just like everybody else. Look, I told you when I came back to Houston, this is where I live. I said, I want the best of competition I could get. You could have had me, listen, you could have had me Andre the Giant, or you could have had me Wahoo McDaniel, I shot at the world champion. I don't need to be in a preliminary match. I'm not in the main event. I don't understand this. Everybody's in a preliminary every, match tonight. Look, I'm not everybody. Tom, Tom We're going over and over and over. I'm not, I'm, hey, I am not a preliminary wrestler. Can you get, the get that through your head? Uh, I'm sick and tired of this. You pushed a lot of guys around. You're running that bomb out of your Tony Atlas. A lot of my wrestle all over the world, the best of competition everywhere in the world. And yet still you put me in here with a bomb like this. It's a disgrace. I have no business being in here with a bomb like this. No question about it. Oh, but he's got a reputation and too, just like this everybody bomb. Else. Everybody has beat him. Hey, you're just a referee. You're, you're, you're just a referee. You're hey. What, what did you tell me? I said, you're here to wrestle. This man is waiting for you now, so get your stuff on. Let and me get respect you. Your just get out of my face. Do me that favor and get out of my face. That's all you do. See? Well, what are you coming down here with your clothes on? You're I'm supposed to. I come there because I'm not going to wrestle this bomb right here. Well, you'll wrestle him, or we're going to have you suspended. I can be suspended or fine or anything. If you don't push me around, you push people like Tony Ellis around and Bobo Brazil, people like this. You push Wahoo McDaniel around. You don't I push, don't push anybody around. But rules, rules push rules. it down. But rules, I make my rules. I break my rules. I do what I want to do. Judge Roy Bean, Western Vegas. He made the rules one day and then broke them the next day. So I'm making my rules. Everybody got their own rules for themselves. So I'm taking the liberty to do the things that I want to do now. This is 1981, and I'm going to win it all. I'm going to win it all. You may win it all, you but you better not, go not, win But I'm going to win it all. Look, i tell you what I do. I give this ball match. Don't make me no of mine. Don't make me. But you can't run it down to me like this. It's all. Get your hand. Get your hand. Don't tell me. Wrestlers, man. If you do not get your tights on by the time I count in and ring this bell, mister, you are going to forfeit the match. Now you hear the best the match. Bang you, want you can bang the bell and do anything. I'll be the first one to give this bum the match. I, you can do anything you want. I'll get in the ring and shake his hand and give him a victory over the great other land. I'll give him a victory over the great other land. I'll be the first one to get his hand in the ring and shake his hand and congratulate him for getting the victory. Don't make me look at lose this one right I'm now. Hey, I get in the ring and shake his hand. I'm the first one to do it. Nobody wants you to shake his hand. I'll just shake, I'll shake his hand. I'll get him shake his hand. Good next to him. The early lad who is in the business of listening to almost anyone. And right now, he is taking in there with his street clothes on and wearing that and lad it, he's got me so I can't even talk here he is now putting the boots to Tom Jones and that one he laid in Tom Jones stomach as Jones doubled up and Ernie Ladd has just beaten Tom Jones he I've never seen anything like that at all. Seconds, the big cat, Ernie and all the time I've been in wrestling, here's a man in his street clothes just gets in and manhandles, manhandles a man who has a considerable reputation and I'll be doggone. What? 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 Now what was what was what was that exhibition it's not for? Your business. It's not your business. Let me tell you something right now. Let me tell you something. My business is my business. And I gotta show you one thing. Nobody in 1981 is gonna push Ernie Ladd around. Nobody's gonna tell Ernie Ladd what to do. I'm gonna do it myself, you, and nobody else. His fool think this is given Texas. This is Houston, Texas. You got to earn some. Let him put that in his head. Furthermore, if I'm fine, there's going to be a lot of trouble. And I'm coming back to Houston and wrestling Houston again because this is my home.
Ernie Ladd with a lot of personal opinion and an, an awful lot of gall, if I might use the word. And I'll be doggone, but there it is. That's the way it turns out. I think Irv Marks probably has something to say here while I try to collect my thoughts and take a deep breath. We'll be back in a moment. Let's listen first to I.W. Marks, Julius. <laughs> 